Three years ago, I left university with dreams of getting an awesome job in a tech firm. I was a cheerful 21-year-old who looked forward to having a nice lifestyle filled with traveling around the world and partying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I started dating and moved in with this charming young man who wrote me poetry and made me feel so beautiful about myself. This probably happened because as a young girl, I was constantly bullied and called ugly. And then one night, everything changed. One minute we were laughing and the next I was cowering in terror. I'm sorry. I was cowering in terror as he struck me over and over and over again. My lips cracked, my face and shoulders had multiple bruises, and my jaw hurt like nothing that I had ever experienced before. It was past midnight. I packed my bags. Walking alone in an unsafe neighborhood where I had previously been robbed and choked by two men. My next years were filled with regret, loneliness, fear, anxiety, hatred, and depression. I pushed away my friends and family, jumped at every sound, I slept with a knife under my pillow, and often I went to hide in bathrooms when I was out in public, especially during networking events. Thankfully though, I had a strong supportive network of family and friends. My employers were literally my rock, and they gave me accommodation when I didn't have a place to go to. Eventually, I recovered. I can now stand in front of you without the urge to run and hide. Thank you. But not every woman is as fortunate as I was. Globally, one in three women will be physically or sexually abused in their lifetime. In my country, Uganda, 27% of women have experienced sexual violence and 56% physical violence. Women who are exposed to violence are 60% lower compared to women who are not. Conflict happens in the home as well as on the battlefield. Societies pay direct costs like healthcare, child and welfare support, legal fees, and indirect costs like lost wages. Put simply, eliminating violence promotes economic prosperity. I am a leader at Zimbo Women where we use technology to support digital literacy, entrepreneurship tra training, and mentorship for over 5,000 African women in business and in STEM. <laughs> we enrolled 172 women in our 2018 mentorship program. We recently started training former sex workers, school dropouts, and victims of violence in the Kampala slum. Today, they are learning mechanics, carpentry, welding, plumbing, and computer skills. Applause 
One of them peace is ecstatic about starting a new life free of poverty and abuse. She and 29 others hope to set up Uganda's first female-owned garage. Another woman that we funded, Gertrude, founder of Elgo Naturals, a company making beauty products from bamboo, has expanded her business tenfold. But victims also need mental health support. And that is why I created Drawing Doves, a digital and offline community for survivors and victims of gender-based violence. We create safe spaces for women to support each other and fearlessly share their stories. We must persistently challenge injustice lest we become silent perpetrators. <laughs> Employers, policymakers, and everyone can create a stronger impact by providing support for victims and survivors to accelerate development and reduce poverty. I am glad my life took a different turn. Now I am working to make sure that a hundred years from now, another woman will not wonder where in history she lost her voice and her strength. Thank you.